Hello friends, I'm Doug Terrell and this is History and Comments. Today is Wednesday, the first day of September, the practical end of summer and the beginning of fall. But remember that from astrological point of view, fall is still three weeks away. In 1420, a 9.4 earthquake strikes Chile. Since this was before good measurements, it is an estimate. There have only been four earthquakes of 9.0 or greater recorded. The strongest one was a 9.5 in 1960, again in Chile. There's a reason they call the Pacific Rim the Ring of Fire. Edgar Rice Burroughs, author and creator of Tarzan, is born in 1875. 1878, Emma Nutt became the first female telephone operator. She will work for the Boston Telephone Dispatch Company. The company had tried boys for seven months, but boys will be boys, and they were too rude to callers and given to pranks. So women were recruited for the job. Emma was paid a whopping $10 a month for a 54-hour work week. Inflation calculators do not go back that far, but a rough estimate makes that maybe $3 an hour in 2021 dollars. 1894, Hinckley, Minnesota and the surrounding forest are ablaze. The first underground subway opens in 1897, and it's not in New York City, but in Boston. College football standout for the Crimson Tide, and leading man in film and later B-Western actor Johnny Mac Brown is born in 1904. He gets a line in the Statler Brothers song, Whatever Happened to Randolph Scott, lamenting the downfall of Hollywood. The last known passenger pigeon dies at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. Once a common bird in North America, they were hunted in great numbers for food. Overhunting was the prime cause of the extinction. We often think of just a few of the major animation studios, Disney and Warner Brothers come to mind, but many of the film studios trifled with the medium. The earliest known example from MGM was released on this day in 1934. Ernest Hemingway's novel The Old Man and the Sea is published in 1954. In 1967, after the Six Day War, in which the entire Arab world targeted Israel, and in the end, Israel gained land, the Arab states gather to lick their wounds and issue the Khartoum Resolution, basically stating the still-held position that Israel should not exist. Specifically, no peace with Israel, no recognition, and no negotiations. 1969, a coup in Libya brings Muammar Gaddafi to power. He will remain in power until the Arab Spring unrest brings civil war to Libya in 2011. The SR-71 Blackbird sets a record flight time between New York and London, making the passage in just under two hours. Sadly, that's not a ticket you can buy. The Concord flight, on which you could purchase tickets, averaged about three and a half hours, but their record was just under three hours. In 1985, the wreckage of the RMS Titanic is located by a joint French-American expedition led by Robert Ballard. And that's History and Comments for September the 1st. I'm Doug Terrell. Now go and do something worth remembering.